places in the universe. Imagine powerful explosions, violent collisions, and strong magnetic fields creating chaos in the darkness of deep space. X-ray telescopes can trace clouds of gas heated to millions of degrees and detect the shower of particles fueled by a feeding black hole. Building on the discoveries of NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and other space telescopes, Ixby measures the orientation of X-rays from some of the most brilliant and bizarre objects in space. Let's listen in as Falcon 9 takes Ixby into orbit. seconds we'll have SES1 or second engine start number one that's where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to carry the second stage and the XP payload into orbit so again those three events coming up in succession Miko main engine cutoff followed by stage separation and then SES1 and this view looking down on the Merlin 1D engines from the first stage you can see the plume expanding as the atmospheric density drops off as we get higher and higher in our atmosphere. First stage engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. So those three events successful, main engine cutoff, stage separation, left hand side of your screen, you can see a view of the first stage deploying its grid fins, starting its recovery sequence. The second stage on the right hand side of your screen, we've got a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine glowing uh, as it continues its ignition to carry XB into orbit. Next major event coming up will be fairing deployment. At this point, the second stage stage two on nominal trajectory the second stage uh, is getting to a part of the atmosphere with very low density so we don't need to carry those fairing halves anymore we can jettison them back to planet earth and then attempt to recover them again both of them being new fairing halves flying for this mission fairing separation confirmed there's confirmation of the fairing deploy, the XP satellite now getting directly exposed to the vacuum of space. 
and those fairing halves again will be attempting to recover those with our recovery vessel named Bob, which is out in the Atlantic Ocean. So if you're just joining us, welcome. We're about T plus four and a half, uh, excuse me, four minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission. Equitus enough signal for me though. On your screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. It's uh, completing its first of two planned burns to take the Ixby satellite into an initial parking orbit. We had an on-time liftoff at 1 a.m. Eastern time. The first stage that carried the second stage uh, this far separated and is on its way back to planet Earth. Its next major activity will happen at about T plus 6 minutes and 20 seconds. And that'll be for the entry burn, where it'll ignite a few of its engines to slow down in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Now, during the entry burn, we'll relight three of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. That'll start with the center engine, followed shortly after by uh, two of the side engines. That'll slow down the vehicle as we pass back into Earth's atmosphere. And we need to slow down on the first stage to reduce the entry forces, which helps us recover and reuse that first stage. Reusability is a key part two on nominal trajectory. of lowering the cost of space flight, which enables more investment into the critical scientific hardware and research. Now, Falcon 9's first stage that supported today's mission will perform this entry burn for the fifth time, having previously done so for the Crew-1, Crew-2, Sirius XM-8, and Sirius-23 missions. And those brand new fairing halves will also re-enter Earth's atmosphere for the first time. The second stage continuing to burn, its burn will continue until about T plus eight minutes. And we've heard periodic call-outs that we are seeing nominal performance and following a nominal trajectory. Stage one FTS is safe. On the second stage. Stage one entry burn soda. So left-hand side of your screen, you can see the grid fins and you can see the plume from the entry burn. At this point, we are firing three of the Merlin 1D engines. And uh, we're decelerating the first stage, but we're still going pretty fast. So as we're flying into the Earth's atmosphere, that soot is actually getting kicked back. Excuse me, the plume is getting kicked back. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. Onto the first stage. And the plume uh, does is carbon-based, so that'll deposit a nice layer of soot on the first stage's surface. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Nominal shutdown of the entry burn. The next activity for the first stage will be the landing burn. That'll happen at about T plus 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Second stage continuing to look nominal. Now the engines on both the first and second stage are different. The Merlin engines no on the first stage are optimized for sea level thrust, but the Merlin vacuum engine that you see on your screen is optimized for vacuum. And the difference there is how much we can expand Stage the pressurized two, is saved. gases that are being produced by the Merlin Stage engine. Transonic. Call up there for Stage 1 being transonic, so it's transitioning from supersonic speeds back to subsonic speed. And next events coming up will be second engine cutoff number one that shut down of this Merlin vacuum engine. And uh, pretty close after, we'll hear a call out for landing burn startup on the first stage. Stage one, landing burn. Come back, engine cutoff. So shutdown of the Merlin vacuum engine. We've got landing burn startup on the first stage. Left-hand side of your screen is a shot from the drone ship. Nominal Stage one, one landing light deploy. And correction, that's a shot from the first stage. And on the right-hand side is a shot from the drone ship. We've deployed the landing legs, hopefully for a soft touchdown on just read the instructions. Stage one, landing and that, that is a 97th successful recovery of a first stage on our drone ship named Just Read the Instructions 
this particular first stage, uh, having scored five flights under its belt. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage on your screen is now embarking on its first coast phase and it's in its nominal orbit. So after this coast phase, we'll light the Merlin vacuum engine for a second time around T plus 29 minutes to put it into the final circular orbit for payload deployment.